Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another session of podcast. I wish and I'm sure you will enjoy listening to the progress. For bathing, what do, what would you recommend? Cold water or hot water or is it based on the season, uh, seasonal when it's winter, hot or you know when it's summer we should have a cool bath. But what what's really best for our body? No common sense uh, uh, point of view. Um, what is that you are practiced to? Mm. Like if you want to you know jump into a pond or a well mm. or a river, you can never have that hot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm. But still, you can choose your time. Mm. During the day, it's cold. Mm. During the night, it's warm. It's warm. Yeah. Have you experienced that? Yeah. During the night, after eight o'clock, if you go, the water is warm mm. in natural uh, environment. Right. If you go to a p- big pond mm. and have a bath in the night, it will be warm. Mm. During the day, it will be cold. Mm. Okay. What is that you are practiced to from the younger days? You stick to that. Okay. But one thing which I can tell you with a common sense, it always better to have a bath with a warm water, not mm. hot water, mm. warm water, warm water, lukewarm water. Mm. Yeah, because the more the more the hot and more the cold, which is going to have a direct impact over your cardiovascular system. Mm. Yeah, a lukewarm water is the advisable stuff. For you to have a bath mm. every time when you have a bath, and then uh, that one will not have impact on your circulatory system, uh, the cardiovascular circulatory system. Not much impact. Mm. It will have its impact, but in very hot water and very cold water, it has more impact. Right. This is what you have to understand. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for spending your quality time. Thank you very much for your attention. I wish you enjoyed this session. See you later.